Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember, click here to check out our brand new app-based NCLEX product, loaded with the highest quality NCLEX style practice questions and complete with detailed video rationales that break down the question for you. So finally master all those darn select all that apply questions. Plus, all our NCLEX memberships come included with our entire library of over a thousand videos and study guides and cheat sheets. Come see why over a hundred thousand students have trusted their future to simplenursing.com. Click here to get started for free. Now for the top three missed questions of psychiatric meds. Which medication has the most potential risk for injury? Select all that apply. Guys, we're looking for sedating meds here. So number one, Amy Triptyline. Remember, Amy trips on things. Very sedating. So yes. Option two, diphenhydramine or Benadryl. Yes, guys, very sedating. High risk for injury. How about option three, Colace? No, that's technically a stool softener. No sedation there. Option four, El Prazo Lamb. Yes, guys, that's a benzo, Pam and Lamb. Very dangerous life. And option five, Buspirone. No, remember bus, you can drive the bus. It's not sedating. Now question two, which combination of drugs should the nurse question? Select all that apply. Guys, the main focus here is we don't wanna mix between SSRIs and MAOIs. Because remember, MAOIs don't mix with others. So option one, sertraline with selegiline. Guys, that's a big no-no. That's an SSRI and MAOI, never mixed. Option two, alprazolam with citalopram. So benzos and SSRIs, that's okay. Now third, buspirone with phenylzine. That's an anxiolytic with an MAOI, technically okay. Now how about lithium with ketorolac or brand name Tordol? That's a tricky one since lithium is a bipolar med and ketorolac is an NSAID. So guys, that's a big no-no. And option five, St. John's wort with buspirone. Technically that is okay. Now question number three, which has the most potential for injury? Select all that apply. So option one, amitriptyline to treat fibromyalgia pain. Guys, yes, Amy trips on things. It's very sedative, high risk for injury. Now option two, a headache while on phenylzine. Guys, yes, the very first sign of a hypertension crisis is a headache, huge risk for CVA stroke. Now option three, taking St. John's wort with sertraline. Guys, yes, sertraline is an SSRI and St. John's wort we have to stop Guys, nothing really comes good from St. John's Wort. Now option four, discontinuing escitalopram the day before isocarboxanide. Guys, no, that's the most injury. Guys, we can't mix an SSRI and an MAOI within two week period of each other. So not the day before, has to be two weeks totally separated. Now option five, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich while on selegiline. Guys, this is okay. Alcohol, cheese, and meats are okay. No tyramine in it for this MAOI. Now, if it was a grilled cheese, that's a big no-no. Or a ham sandwich has meat in it, big no-no. And even beer and sausage, we have no alcohol, guys. So, no alcohol, cheese, or meats. Now, option number six, reporting sore throat, fatigue, and low-grade fever while on clozapine or clozapping. Now, this technically isn't fair because this is an antipsychotic drug, but guys, yes, clause zapping zaps WBCs, making a huge risk for infection and technically a risk for injury. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.